With the income statement, we were asked to do the income statement for 2013 to 2018. So we separated it from before operations and after operations. Before operations was before April 1st, 2015. And so here is the income statement. So there was no revenue because operations haven't started yet. And so there were only expenses. And these were the costs incurred for constructing the trains and the train stations and also planning of business and operations. Now we move on to 2015, April 1st, 2015 and onwards, where uh, revenues become to pour into a uh, company. So there's only one stream of revenue and that's collected from fares. And we calculate that based on the ridership multiplied by the ticket price, which is $20. And then we have the variable cost, which is cost per rider, and that's $7.65 per rider. And fixed expenses will occur regardless of how many riders will uh, take place. And we also have depreciation, and that is basically the, the loss in value as we use the asset. And so depreciation is calculated by, with estimated value subtracting the residual value over the life expectancy, which is 20 years. And so according to European Investment Bank, at the residual value of 60% for the train stations as the residual value and 0% for the tra trains. And so those are the, the numbers of depreciation. And as you can see, during 2015 and 2016, we had incurred a loss. And so and, and 2017 and onwards, we start to have a profit. And this is typically uh, regular for a starting project to have losses during the first two years. And as we move on, uh, we have more riders, and so uh, revenue will start to come in and profit will increase, residents and visitors. So with newspaper, we're going to put it into the finance and travel section. So these would be newspapers such as National Post, Globe, The Globe and Mail, Toronto Star. And so in the finance section, we would be putting, uh, stating actually uh, how Toronto is the financial hub of Canada. And in the travel section, we're going to look at how convenient it is to travel from the Pearson Airport to downtown Toronto. And with magazines, we're also going to use the Canadian magazine. So it's things such as McLean's, Chatelaine, and Sportsnet magazine. And so uh, moving on to television, we're going to run four to five commercials, at each at three seconds. And we're also going to be using the video shown on the UK Express website. And in regards to the internet, we're going to use Metrolinx's existing social media websites such as uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then we're basically going to show how the construction of the UP Express and also referencing to Pan Am Games in, in occurring in 2015. I'd like to thank Shelly and Patrick for uh, coming in today and listening to our presentations. We hope that our ideas will help you make decisions for the future of UP Express. As a team, we're committed in implementing a successful, we are confident in our objectives. Thank you.